What about the person who controls the Union? What is Don Whitehorse like? In a word, big. Big voice, big body, big everything. We already know what he looks and sounds like. We saw him, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Well, he's a really cool person. Does that answer your question, Estelle? It's clear that Carol has a lot of respect for the Don. But that's about the only thing that's clear. He's so cool that it can't be expressed in words. We'll just leave it at that then. Okay. Hello everybody, this is Mino4657, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Vesperia, and in the last episode we got to Dongress and did some crap. Apparently, before I stop recording, I forgot to say at the end, which we need some healing before we go to the Forest of Cave Mock. So, I think I did all the equipment shopping last time, but I'm just going to assume I did that. Yeah, I know, that's probably a bad idea, but I don't care. Because I want to get this next area underway, because this is actually a pretty good um, area for in terms of story. I can't remember the exact way to go. I mean, like, I know where the Forest Cave Mock is, I'm just trying to figure out the uh, the easiest way to get there. And, uh, and the city of Dongress, actually, no, wait, that's Heliard I'm thinking of. Okay, never mind. Forget I was, forget I was saying something. You didn't see anything. Anyway. There are two entrances, I knew it. Damn it. Well, how am I supposed to get to the other side? I guess I can cross that bridge. No, wait, I'm just gonna have to walk through the city. God damn it. So, Heliord and Dongress have two entrances. That's interesting. Okay, whatever. We're not too far from the Forest of Cave Mock, though, once we leave the city. Which I believe the exit is straight this way. Oh, by the way, guys, I can't not tell you how relieving it is to be able to upload unlimited time videos again. It was so frustrating being restricted to 15 minutes on this game. Damn it. Where did that guy come from? Whoa, long loading screen there. Don't get sloppy. Oh, you now get sloppy. I was just uh, eating breakfast pizza for breakfast, of course. Right now, the date is February 21st, 2011, as I'm, as I'm recording this. And it is now 7.35 in the morning. Yeah, I kind of got an early start, and I didn't really have anything else to do until later today, so I decided to start recording this. Hey, I learned something. Oh, finally. Now you can finally switch weapons, Yuri. What took you so long? Jesus Christ. Um, okay, she's good. Uh, almost. Okay, everyone's still good. I've actually been meaning to grind on this game. We'll destroy them in no which time. I didn't, um, after... I didn't really grind off screen, so... I was thinking about showing that, but I don't know. If everyone thinks these battles can get repetitive once... Once you reach, like, a certain strength, then they... The battles will go by so fast. And it might seem getting... That was really weird, you know. How did I miss that one? Come on. Why did he, why did he keep attacking you like that? He must really not like Estelle. We performed marvelously. Okay. Finish that one. Oh, see, that was fast. Now, just, now Rita can use her other weapon. Sweet. Critical magic. Alright, let's just go into the forest of K Mock because this is a good grinding spot. Damn it, I should have gotten some some soda drink or something before I started recording. I'll just do that in between videos then. I had no idea trees this big existed. Yeah, but it doesn't exactly look healthy for them to be this overgrown. It's just like you said, Carol. It's like what happened at Heliord when the Blastia went berserk. Be careful. There's somebody here. Ugh. Hey, what a coincidence. What the hell are you doing in a place like this? Yeah, and how long have you been waiting there? You know... Out for a forest stroll, taking in the nature. Taking in the nature, yeah. You were taking a sh over there, weren't you? Something smells fishy. What? Where's my welcome? 
your ass. You didn't think we'd honestly be glad to see you, right? Ah, uh, you don't mean that. I can come in handy, you know. You're not thinking of coming with us, right? Of course. It's lonely being out here all by my lonesome. What? No dice? No dice, dude. You'd better watch your back. If you try anything funny, you're dead. Hey, you don't really think my story stinks that bad, do ya? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, the stench is sort of coming off you in waves. Really? <laughs> I can't take responsibility for what I'll do if you make any sudden moves. Don't forget that. Alright, so Raven, the fishy stalker guy, <laughs> is joining our party. I know there's not much point in bringing it up again, but this guy's really fishy. Yeah, how long's he planning to stick with us anyway? Does he even have a good reason for being in Cave Mock? You heard him, old man. Spit it out. Huh? I'm gonna stick with you guys as long as need be. And as for my reasons, I thought I told you. I'm on a mission of self-discovery. You said you were out for a forest stroll, taken in the nature. Oh, I did? If I had a memory that bad, I'd want to find myself too. There you go. Really fishy. Really, really, really fishy. Uh, okay, but since he's a new character, I'm going to be showing you how he fights and how to use him. That's weird. Okay, you know what? Never mind. I know what happened. Alright, so it's pretty much to the front. Now, it's not like I really have anything against this guy. Oh, for God's sake. I haven't had that happen when I was recording in a while now. Okay, I hope you guys really can't hear that, but my neighbor's are my neighbor's shower is running again, and I really, really hate that. Anyway, like I said, it, like I was saying, I it's not like I really have anything against Raven. I actually kind of, I actually kind of like this character, but he fights at a distance, like uh, um, what's her name? Yeah, Rita. How can I forget the name of my favorite character in the whole game? Anyway. He actually does get some pretty good strike arcs, and he's the only party member in your whole team who can use wind magic. We finished them off. Uh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, whatever. Let's change that title because his other fishy old man. See, that one sucks. Okay, I don't know if you heard that, but um, Raven is the only member of that in your party that you're ever gonna get who can use wind magic. Man, could you be any weaker? And he Let's can only use wind with. magic. Okay. That uh, was kind of strange. Let's see. Okay, rain, bouquet, shoot an arrow at the enemy's turn, blah, 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 serpent. Oh, he starts out with serpent? That's awesome. Okay. Okay, it says this is earth magic, but once you actually see it, you wouldn't even guess that it's earth magic, okay? Um, just like the. Okay, I like to have that one on the forward. Okay, I'll show you what Windblade looks like. It's a, it's actually really strong. Damn it! I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button again. What one is it again? Because I thought it was just regular A, but obviously it's not. It's okay. It's left and right. So don't pick any more fights. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So he learned his burst art already. That's pretty fast. At level 24. Okay. I guess it varies. I thought it was 23, and I also thought it was 25, but it just varies. I have no idea what he just used. Oh, damn, I pressed the wrong button. You know what? I'm changing that. That's just way too freaking stupid. I can't handle that. I have to have Windblade on regular A because I can't do it with anything else. Okay, Bokeh? No, I don't like that. I like to have Rain as up. And then we'll put that one there. Okay. And yes, I did actually mean to do that. Shoot! What? Rita's gonna cover me? Okay. Whoa. Raven's choice of words also kind of confuses me. Oh, that was gay. Okay, what time are we up to? 12 minutes? Almost 13? Okay. Not doing too bad here. Okay, now we're gonna cutscene here, which I think is voice acting. <laughs> oh, don't mind me. Do whatever you came to do. 
What should we do about him? Do you know any tricks that'll convince us you're worth keeping around? Do I look like some kind of street magician to you? Hey, you! Come here a second. What? M me? Huh? What do you want with Carol? Ah! Don't just leave me here! Show him what for, kid! Why me? Okay, this isn't funny any- I didn't even so advance the dialogue there. It, now. Ah! it exploded from the inside! What did you do? You just wait for them to let their guard down, give them a little poke, and then BAM! Jeez, I bet you're great at parties. <laughs> I suppose that was good enough. Really? Yes. Alright. Hey, you mean I passed? I can stay? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, are you kidding? It'll be much easier to do things to him if we keep him nearby. <laughs> what do you mean, things? Things that go inside your pants. I hadn't thought about that. Okay, <laughs> just got a little chill up my spine. Well then, Mr. Raven, after you. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> We're all friends here. I just realized that I haven't been identifying any of these Don't monsters. I better do that. Here we have a leaf bat. Resists against wind, water, but weak against fire, so Reed is going to be a big help here. Raven isn't going to be too useful here because of his wind magic, but at least he can still fight with strike hearts. Like this one. Ah, by the way, um, when you have a certain skill equipped on Raven, he'll use his knife when he's close range, as you probably see him do it. Watch this. Damn it, Rita! I was trying to demonstrate something for the good people watching in their couches. Now, if you don't mind, I would like to show that again, but I'm pretty sure you've already seen it by now, right? I think the skill is called Chain Styles, so when Ra when Raven is right next to an enemy, he uses his knife. You can probably like see that just a little bit, but it's probably kind of hard to see. You want revenge? Bring it. That's why I don't think he's not too bad. I mean, These are the threads that we've... a lot of people say that he's not very useful, but I think he kind of is. But sometimes you don't want him in the in the same battles as he is with Rita. Damn it. Oh, there's no challenge at all. It's kind of hard to hit the enemies, though, sometimes. But he's really good at fighting flying enemies. Okay, before I forget, let's identify these douches. Oh, wait, where are they? Oh, yeah, these are howlers. I don't have these guys. These guys are outside the forest. Why don't they? Ha why do they have them inside the forest and outside the forest at the same time? Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna identify this guy, because... Ooh, that's a treasure chest. <laughs> duh. Do I already have that? Estelle. No, I don't. For Yuri and Estelle. Now, I'd rather have Yuri have that. But he needs to get get his skills with the Surgy, Surgy, How do you pronounce that? I don't know. I feel like an easy win. I know how to pronounce some of these words, but not all of them, so you have to excuse me. Beetle, weak against fire, resistance against wind. That sucks. That's what really sucks about this place, is that the area where you get Raven, and most of the enemies are resistance against his magic. Except this guy. <laughs> so I think I'll torment him with a little wind blade. Well, at least I don't get tormented myself. Rita, just don't use... Oh, uh, Earth against them. Okay, there you go. You're using fire. Oh shoot! We can't lose. That fireball came out of nowhere. Hey, I learned something. 
Alright. So he already learned his new skills, so now he can switch to that... Damn it. Didn't mean to do that. So now he can switch to that new weapon that we just got him. I'll cater to their skills a little bit later. Try to be careful. These botan... Bo... Botan... Tanis? Botanical? Abnormal, these? Are being caused by the air here. There's a good chance that there are pockets of excess air all over the place. Yeah, too much air can have negative effects on people in Blastia. Taking on lots of air causes your metabolism to speed up. And that'll make you more tired than usual. Wow, you know more than I thought. Eh, that's just common sense. I'd expect people to know about air's effect on the human body. But I didn't think it was common knowledge that Blastia can become super saturated with air if used improperly. Nah, anyone who deals with Bodhi Blastia should know all about it. Actually, I never heard about it until Rita mentioned it. You gotta quit slacking and hit the books, kid. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that cutscene before, actually. Oh, what, we got another one? Tara, what are you doing? That's where you can go. Yeah. Why do we get turned around? Am I going backwards? <laughs> Ellipsis. <laughs> what the hell? Get away! Okay, that's really hard to read. Get away. Don't touch me. Stay back. Carol, Carol, it's okay. It already flew away. Huh? <laughs> it did. Alright, let's keep moving. Captain Carol seems a little different than usual, doesn't he? You think? He seems like his usual spaced out kid self to me. No, something's different about him. The Carol I knew before uh, would have been peeing his pants or running for his life if something like that happened. Oh, now that you mention it, I think you're right. <laughs> Why did Raven get an idea? Ugh, bugs! The giant swarm over there! Watch out! <laughs> hey, <laughs> what did you do that for? Ah, my eyes. We're just giving you a little something to keep away from the giant swarm of bugs. <laughs> I don't believe it. I thought I was gonna die. Carol, you're really afraid of bugs, aren't you? Who, me? Not at all. It's okay, Carol, you don't have to pretend. Here, take this Aspio brand insect spray, the best to keep the bugs away. That rhymed. Uh, you don't mind? Not at all, just make sure not to spray it near any people, it can sting. So, I'm not a person anymore? <laughs> Am I? <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's go. Carol learned the bug breath based art. What the hell is that? Wow, Carol, when you freak out, you really freak out. Come on, everyone has a few things they're afraid of, don't they? Not me. Now, now, genius mage, it's not nice to lie. Even old Raven's got his own fears. What are you afraid of, old man? I'm afraid of pretty girls. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rita, it's better to come clean. That way we can help you out. Like anyone needs your help. I can take care of myself just fine. Her type always has some of the worst fears. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, you, we'll find out what Rita's afraid of later. But right now, we are flat out of time, people. So, in the next episode of Tales of Vesperia, we're going to wander around this forest a little bit more. I don't know, I'm, I'm going to need the level ups for the next boss, just so you know. Because I'm going to get my ass handed to me so fast if I don't do that. So, I'll see you all next time, folks.